Coming up next, Inside the NBA, presented by Kia. So for Chris Weber, Kristen Ledlow, the rest of the crew, Marv Albert saying good night from Oakland, California. Well, Shocker. how about that? Shocker. That changes the conversation. And we will have plenty of Ooh. conversation on Inside the NBA, presented by Kia, along with the highlights of the two games tonight. We know the Houston Rockets mm. waiting for the winner of this series, and we still don't have a winner of this series as they go back to Staples Center for Game 6. Stick around for Inside, presented by Kia. The Golden State Warriors with a closeout game on their floor cannot yeah, get it done. The Clippers 129 to 121 and we welcome you to Inside the NBA presented by Kia. Ernie Johnson with Shaq and Kenny and Charles and let's jump right into the highlights of this one as the professional scorer. Yes. He was professional scorer Lou Williams. Lou Williams was he was the uh, hero tonight but we got to give a shout out to Got enough. And well, shout and out Patrick, Patrick Beverly as and well. Montrez, yeah. Big Montrez, that big Montrez. Oh yeah, yeah. They from well. everybody. They play well. They play well as a team. KD shots wow. into a three. Mm -hmm. And Love then right. Jamaica Green gave them some points. Yeah, they play well as a team. Andre Iguodala for three. Dollar bill, y'all. Dollar dollar bill. The Warriors hit eight out of ten threes in the first quarter. Yeah, they're gonna mm -hmm. blow them up. That was Alfonso McKinney right there. 41-37 Warriors after one. Durant there. See a lot of Golden State highlights here early on, but the Clippers were right there. Lou Williams. Just the start of a huge night for him. He, Gallinari. Oh yeah, he was awesome tonight. Maybe they'll just save that free agency money and just play with these guys. These guys. <laughs> no, no. <I> <laughs> well, well, Williams I'll with the just, finish I'll and then they go get him a star. Lou oh. again. Oh my goodness. Oh, they would score 71 points in the first half and lead by eight. Now watch this sequence as Beverly loses the shoe and just hangs on to it to play defense against Draymond Green. Well, that's the guy you want to play defense with no shoes. And draws the offensive foul, and then there's a technical on Green as he steps over. And that's exactly what you're team. supposed to do. When you step over guys like that, you're trying to be disrespectful. And he got teed up for it. You should get a loose ball foul if you're a real man. Loose ball? What do you oh, mean? yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. Can't let guys step over you. I think Draymond did that on purpose to get these guys fired up a little bit. Well, he did it on purpose to disrespect Patrick Beverly. Beverly for three there, and then Jermichael Green for three. 81 to 66. Ernie, this team plays hard every single night, and they... I'm going to have a question for the panel. The Warriors just took them for granted. They thought it was over. Swing it. Swing. And it was not over. Can you remember I told you every now and then? Durant and when one. you flip that switch, it ain't, ain't going to come off. Yep. Oh, because the other person, they car driving too, Shaq. Oh, finish this. Look at Harold. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Now you're on the Clipper side when you said they was going to get blown out. Oh, no, no, I'm saying the, the Warriors took this game for granted. 104 94 going to the fourth quarter. Clippers by 10, and then Durant with the four point play. Gallinari. Oh, nice oh what a nice little oh. Euro step. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Oh, that, that was nice. Harrell again hanging around. The big Montrez. 112, 102. How tall is Montrez? He played like he's 7 1. Uh, Durant seven with one the right finish. There. It's an eight point game. I think he's like 6 7. Curry will oh, float. And one. 114, 111. Look at Harrell oh, on the oh, Go get me some of that. on Kevon Looney. I'm glad the ref ain't called that one. Well, he got fouled a little bit now. But yeah. that was, I'm glad he didn't call it. Get out of here. So that on the defensive end, and then this on the offense. Uh, oh. Lily ball. Harrell had 24 on the night. Oh, my goodness. Y'all got Clay for three. Here come the Warriors. Durant. Oh. The biggest play of the game was a three-point play. And this oh, oh. gives Golden State the lead, 118-170. That's the dagger right there. Yeah, oh, the immediate answer from Lou I'm not even with sure. a four-point oh, yeah, play. That's a four-point play. His elbow. He did. Because oh, the Clippers, oh. after Golden State took the lead, the Clippers finished them off 11-4. 
Beverly draws the charge from Clay Thompson. See, they usually oh. make that pl extra pass right there. I thought he would hit, he would hit uh, Steph Curry. But and then, oh, ooh. got him. Oh. Sweet. Ugh. Unbelievable. Williams 33 and 10. Steve Ballmer beside himself. Gallinari had 26. Williams had 33. Harrell had 24. Beverly 17 points and 14 rebounds. And the Clippers are still alive. 129, 121. Here's Doc Rivers. After winning game two, after winning this game like this, are you thinking why not be the eight seed that tries to take down the one seed? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I mean, they're up 3-2 still. Um, but I just loved how we played. I, I really did. I thought, um, you know, all we talked about is being us. Like, um, we, we really felt, and I told our guys, like, they've been them in the series. Um, we have yet to put a game where we are us through the, through the game. And I thought tonight was more like us throughout. We kept attacking. We kept running. Uh, we kept spreading the floor, moving the ball. Uh, Pat Beverly, the gritty show uh, with the rebounds, the tough rebounds. Um, Gal, I mean, that was us. That was that was our team today, and so that was great to see. You said this changes the conversation. In what way? I mean, you, you know, Chuck and I thought that they were going to get blown out tonight. But I, I've said this before. Sometimes when you're a good team and you rely on the switch. Sometimes when you flick the switch, it doesn't work. And tonight for Golden State, it didn't work. I like Lou Williams uh, because a lot of people don't understand the mind of a prolific scorer. If you have a bad game, next game you're coming out blazing. You know, he played well the other game, but he only had 12 points. We as prolific scorers, that's against our religion to get 12 points. So I know he was coming out. That's why I picked him in the auto trader game. And he played great. <laughs> well, that's that Lou Williams? Great. This is the first good game great. he's had since game one. Uh, he didn't play well the last three games, and um, well, game two, it was game, game two. two. He had 36. Maybe, well, maybe when I'm they sorry. had the big comeback. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Game, yeah, well, that was game two. You're right. Yeah, 25 in the uh, opener, 36 yeah. in game but two. But tonight he dominated. But you take your head off to Gallinari, uh, Patrick Beverly, Green, uh, Harrell. Everybody played top well. to bottom on that. They did, but man. but but, or this Warriors team, they gave up 71 points the first half. Uh, to me, they were going through the motions and thought they could turn it on. And actually, they did turn it on. They, they, took, they took the lead. They, they took the lead. But once the house was on fire, Lou Williams and all the guys, it, the other team got, got like, as remember Paul Silas told me, you got a head too? When I told him I was going to punch him in the head. Yeah. The Clippers had a head too tonight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got a head too. Got a head too. But I, I, I would say that you have to, you have to, if you're, if you're Steve Kerr and the Golden State Warriors and the, and the rest of the team, I, I, the panic is definitely not going to be in the building. But you can think about this as a, I think this is a five-year run now that they've been to the NBA Finals, five years in a row. You know, it is difficult to get out for a closeout, closeout game in the first round. It is difficult to get up for that if you have a five-year run of going to the NBA Finals. No excuses for it. I'm just saying it is difficult because you see the excitement and urgency that the Clippers play with. They tried to manu... It's hard to manu manufacture energy. Like, you're trying and you're putting the body language in, you're stepping over Patrick Beverly, you're screaming to the crap, but the energy just doesn't come sometime. And that's the... And the Shaq would attest to this as well. That's the tough part about going back-to-back. -back. That's the tough part about going three in a row is it isn't the fact that you are not good enough. It's are you mentally fatigued at times when everyone else is up. That's the difference, and that's, that's what I saw tonight. Steve Kerr is uh, making his way.